Total Pro Sports presents the 15 biggest one-year wonders in NFL history. To be an NFL legend, you need to be consistently great. One tremendous year will not put you in the Hall of Fame, though it can leave a legacy. We'll always remember a player for one big game, one big mistake, or an incredible play that will put them in infamy. Here are the 15 biggest one-year wonders in NFL history. Number 15, Tommy Maddox. Maddox became a bigger journeyman than a pro football quarterback. At least you could make a case for that. The Denver Broncos drafted him in 1992 to become John Elway's successor. Maddox then went to Los Angeles, Atlanta, the New York Giants, and even NFL teams. He came back to the NFL playing for Pittsburgh in 2002 and was named AP Comeback Player of the Year. But that was his lone great season, and we never saw the full potential he was supposed to display for years. Number 14, Drew Bennett. The Tennessee Titans signed the undrafted wideout who succeeded at UCLA. They believe they got themselves a franchise receiver, and his 2004 season indicated it. Bennett caught 80 passes for 1,247 yards and 11 touchdowns. His next best season was in 2005 with 58 catches for 738 yards and 4 touchdowns. Bennett was out of the NFL following the 2008 season. Number 13, Rob Johnson. Johnson appeared to be the talented but odd man out of the 1997 Jacksonville Jaguar squad. That featured Mark Brunel and Steve Bierlein. In a game, he had nearly 300 passing yards and three touchdowns, but the Jags decided not to keep the promising quarterback. Johnson went to the Buffalo Bills, but the fans preferred Doug Flutie. Johnson did win a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2002, but he wasn't the starter when they won it all. Number 12, Desmond Howard. He'll go down as a Super Bowl legend in Green Bay Packers lore, but it doesn't mean that Howard was an all-time icon. He guided the Packers to a Super Bowl 31 victory thanks to his 99-yard kickoff return touchdown giving him MVP honors. We never saw much from Howard, but at least his biggest career game came at the most opportune time. Number 11, Rex Grossman. Grossman never put up elite status, but he did lead the Chicago Bears to an NFC Championship victory in the 2006 season. Carried by a great defense, Grossman tallied 3,193 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 20 interceptions, but he never saw the playoffs again and struggled as a starter the rest of the way. Number 10, Vince Young. Just because he graced the Madden 2008 cover, it doesn't mean he had an incredible career. His 2006 rookie season was a memorable one. He wound up taking home the top first-year honors and setting a record for rushing yards by a rookie signal caller. Young had 2,199 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, and 13 picks with the Titans, who took him third overall in 2006. He struggled to be a full-time starter the rest of the way and was done playing by 2011. Number 9, Jim O'Brien. O'Brien's career is best noted for being both a kicker and wide receiver and being a Super Bowl V hero and champion with the Baltimore Colts. His 32-yard field goal propelled the Colts to a title in the final seconds, but nothing spectacular followed suit the rest of the way. But he's still a hero, and that's all that matters. Number 8, Tim Tebow. Unfortunately for the media, Tebow never became the person who reflected how much coverage the press gave him. Tebow earned his shot to start for the Denver Broncos in the 2011 season. He took over a 1-4 Broncos team and led them to an 8-8 record, a playoff win against the Steelers before being crushed by the New England Patriots in the divisional round. Tebow became a backup for the New York Jets the following year, but Tebow time lasted less than a full season. Number 7. Derek Anderson Best remembered for his meltdown to a reporter after an embarrassing Monday night football loss, Anderson had one productive NFL season. Anderson led the perennially struggling Cleveland Browns to the playoffs in 2007, throwing for 3,787 yards, 29 touchdowns, and 19 interceptions. He didn't ever come to close those numbers again, but at least found a role as a backup to Cam Newton. Number 6. David Boston Despite the awesome last name, Boston didn't have a great career, but he did have one great season. The 2001 Pro Bowler had a phenomenal season. 1,598 yards on 98 catches and 8 touchdowns. Boston never came close to getting half of those numbers and was out of the NFL by 2006. Number 5. Larry Brown A three-time Super Bowl champion with the Dallas Cowboys, Brown was best remembered for being named Super Bowl 30 MVP after intercepting Neil O'Donnell of the Steelers twice in the game. What happened after that? Brown started one more game. But hey, how many NFL legends go without a Super Bowl ring and MVP? A ton. Number 4. Icky Woods Woods became a rookie sensation with the Cincinnati Bengals. In 1988, he had 1,066 rushing yards and 15 touchdowns, while averaging a ridiculous 5.3 yards per carry. 
Woods' efforts got the Bengals to the Super Bowl that season, but he'd wind up playing just three more years before being ousted from the league. Woods' next best season, 268 yards and six touchdowns. Number 3. Timmy Smith To the Washington Redskins, he's an icon. To the rest of the NFL, he's a one-year wonder. Smith set up a Super Bowl record with 204 rushing yards, scoring two touchdowns as a rookie. This happened when he led the Redskins to a Super Bowl XXII title over the Denver Broncos. That happened in 1998, but Smith was out of the league by 1990. Who could believe such a thing would happen? Number 2. Mike Jones There has to be a million people in the world named Mike or Michael Jones, but his name stands out for one play and nothing more. His 1999 season, though, was a great one. One sack, four picks, two fumble recoveries, and a couple of scores. He got at the St. Louis Rams to Super Bowl 34 against the Titans. Jones tackled Kevin Dyson at the one-yard line on the final play of the game, just barely getting the Rams their title. He never did much after that. Number 1. David Tyree Like it was going to be someone else. You all know the story. Here's a reminder. Tyree catches four passes in the entire 2007 regular season. The New York Giants faced the heavy favorites and 18-0 New England Patriots in Super Bowl 42. Tyree's go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter puts the Giants up by three, trailing by four in the final minutes. Eli Manning somehow avoids a sack, throws a Hail Mary pass to Tyree, who jumps up and beats all-time great Rodney Harrison, clinging the ball to his helmet for the catch. A few plays later, Plaxico Burris scores the game-winning touchdown for the greatest upset in NFL history. Who is your favorite one-year wonder? Tell us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you didn't subscribe, now's a good time to do so. We upload videos seven days a week. As always, we thank you so much for watching.